We never value what we have until we lose it. My life with Albert was wonderful. Even though we were always short of money, we loved each other so much despite that. And our wedding day was near at hand. Nothing hinted at future calamity. Until Albert received a strange letter. Darling, it's a job offer. It seems somehow related to restoring an ancient building. I'll have to leave you to travel to the site, but the customer is promising a prestigious sum of money. Enough for the most luxurious wedding, a mansion, and a carefree life for us together afterwards. Ever since Albert left, I've had no news of him. I grew more and more worried about my beloved fiancé and set out to search for him with only the return address on the envelope of that strange letter to guide me. That's how I reached the grim land of Campshire. place. You can still go back. Oh, no. Whatever it is, I won't retreat. Find the book in the house. Hurry, before it's too late. This is madness. in the library.
Whatever. The magic of the gatekeeper holds you back. Destroy it, and the magical curtain will disappear. hold the history of building a magic gate that led to the netherworld. In olden days, powerful sorcerers used this gate to summon demons to our world and fulfill the sorcerer's wishes. Activating the gate created great danger, for the two worlds could easily become one, and then the malevolent demons would get loose and destroy mankind. Centuries later, Mysterious knowledge keepers came to the conclusion that the gate was perilous to exist. They used special magic from the amulets of the elements to obliterate all the gates along with all the written records of the dangerous occult practice. Except for this book, which they somehow missed. by them without one of the magical amulets of the elements. The four central parts of the amulet will destroy the gatekeepers one by one. Wait, what's going on here? Drop the fountain!
My dearest, I have reached my destination safely at last, and I hasten to inform you that I'm in good health, apart from missing you terribly. When I arrived here, I was met by the steward of Justin Ulrich's estate, a suspiciously silent and gloomy type. He did not even deign to share his name with me. To speak frankly, I am eager to leave this place immediately and forget about my odd journey here. But I have been enticed into remaining by the tidy sum promised me in exchange for the work I shall do here. 
Money that we so need for our wedding and our happy future life together. However, perhaps I'm merely laying the dark and distinctly odd surroundings way on my spirits. The steward has promised to send this letter to you immediately. Please respond post haste. I greatly desire your opinion and await your speedy reply. With all my love, your Albert. This is a letter from Albert. At least now I'm sure he was here. Fountain. As soon as you find a part of the amulet, one of the gatekeepers will lose its power. Don't be afraid. I will not harm you. It is I, your Justin. Don't you recognize me, Vilhari? What did you call me? That's not my name. You've mistaken me for someone else. I don't understand a single thing you are saying. Who are you? And what has transpired here? You don't remember anything. I, alone, am the guilty author of your evil fate. Everything could have been quite different from what it is now, had I not been 
so thoughtless all those many years ago. But what is done is done and cannot be undone. And everything that has transpired here is my fault. I simply want to find my fiancé, Albert. What happened to him? Have you seen him? You cannot help Albert without bringing harm upon yourself. I implore you, you must go as far away as you can right away. And please, oh please, forgive me, Valhari. His lordship is wrong, actually, Miss Velhari. You do indeed have the power to help yourself and your Albert. And all of us. Justin Aldridge fears the fate that awaits you, as he loves you dearly. It disturbs him to see the strength and bravery dwelling in your heart. But you shall overcome every difficulty you encounter. Be steadfast and proceed forthwith. Your lord said that everything that has happened here is his fault. What did he mean? Two hundred years ago, his lordship adored his beautiful wife and fulfilled her every wish up to the final day of her all-too-brief life. 
But when she died, death stole not only Mrs. Aldrich, but also our Lord's reason and his very soul. Grief-stricken, he ceased sleeping, incessantly poring over a set of ancient volumes, obsessed by the idea of bringing his beloved spouse back into the world of the living. He ignored his own needs and mistreated his servants. Sadly, in one of his ancient tomes, his lordship read how to create gates to the beyond. He built these gates, using them to summon a demon to our world, and then conclude a dire agreement with that terrible creature. Yet, the agreement didn't help our lord achieve his dream. Instead, it only brought horror and destruction.
my dear sweetheart and wife-to-be, I'm quite concerned, as I've not received any reply from you. Is it that you don't share my strong sense of apprehension and therefore have delayed responding? Even were this to be so, I desperately need your assurance and moral support. I am increasingly suspicious every day, particularly since the estate's so-called steward has told me that I will only be able to see the structure I must restore, some kind of gate, allegedly, after I sign a contract. This all seems quite untoward, so much so that I'm prepared to reject his profitable offer and hasten back to your side. Faithfully yours, Albert. This book describes the rite of repose for the living dead. Into the center of a pentagram, you must place a scorpion, a fresh flower, and a chalice made of a human skull that has been filled with the blood of an arboreal goblin.
It's the agreement Justin Aldridge made with the demon. According to this agreement, the demon is obliged to bring Aldridge's deceased wife back to him as soon as he has modified the gates. Aldridge originally designed these gates in such a manner that only one creature can walk through them, and only once. If the gates are modified as the demon has set forth in the agreement, these restrictions shall be removed. Justin Aldridge changed the whole world for one life, that of his wife. unhappy and eternally cursed Justin Allridge. This is my diary and my confession. Having lost my reason due to the death of my beloved wife, I entered into an infernal agreement with a demon. At the time, it seemed perfectly natural to me. Only many years later did I understand how monstrous my deed was. In spite of my naive expectations, the rites for modifying the gates take centuries. Thus, the demon has prolonged my mortal life by turning me into a dreadful creature from beyond so that I can live up to the end of the bargain. Yet, when I have finally fulfilled my part of the agreement and see my beloved wife again, what life shall we be able to enjoy together in a world turning into a burning hell, step by step, Will she recognize me? I, who became a dreaded monster, and who will be guilty of all the world's future suffering? Will she love me as she did before? No.
My dear fiancé, I awaited your reply for a long time, but my patience was in vain. Finally, lacking any word from you, I decided to leave Mr. Aldridge's estate. As soon as the steward learned of my decision, he doubled my fee, showing me the cash and assuring me that I would receive the entire sum as soon as I had signed the contract to restore the mysterious structure. It was a huge sum and will guarantee a comfortable life for not only us, but also for our children. This time, I could no longer refuse such an offer. Although my soul yearned to leave this dismal place for your embrace, your future husband, Albert. Albert's agreement. Albert may not leave the country seat until he has finished restoring the gates. My Albert had no idea what would happen when his work was completed, thereby returning Aldridge's wife to him and starting the process of fusing the two worlds together.
Velhari, I have been waiting for you. I'm not Velhari. You've mistaken me for someone else. Why does everyone call me by this strange name? Who are you? Velhari, you must surely be aware of me and my ambitious plans. I am a demon who came into this world through the gates your husband built for your sake. Surprised? I brought you back from the world of the dead and gave you a second life. And you will spend it living with Justin Aldridge, the man who loves you so much. This is a clause in my agreement with him. Set Albert free! Certainly, but only after the gates begin to operate and my demon brethren enter this boring world for a spot of infernal mischief. Have you read the agreement signed by your Albert? Yes, you have. Good girl. What do you want from me? You shall sign an agreement, according to which you will voluntarily spend the remainder of your worthless life with the half-corpse Aldridge. In exchange, I will set your Albert free. I will implement all three agreements simultaneously, with your former husband Justin, your current fiancé Albert, and you, Velhari. You will return to Justin. Once the gate starts to operate, they will fuse our worlds together permanently, and Albert will return home with a tidy sum. Everyone will be happy. On the other hand, what's the use of money in the hell that I shall create here on Earth? However, that's not important anymore to you nor to anyone else. Sign the agreement. My brethren and I grant you full immunity from our predations, unlike the rest of mankind. What, what? What's happening? Ah! No! Justin! What are you doing? Do you not want to get your Velhari back?
Justin, what has happened? Where is the demon? I cast the spell. Unfortunately, it cannot destroy the demon, nor neutralize him. But it can restrain him for a short while. Take this opportunity and destroy the gates. the evil I summoned and saved my miserable soul just as you once enlivened my life and filled it with happiness. 
I will always love you. But I do not dare to hope that you can reciprocate the emotions of such a dread monster as I. Forgive me if you can, my love. I do understand you. You did everything for the sake of love. During my centuries of unnatural existence, I came to understand that I could not build my personal happiness upon the ruins of this world by sacrificing millions of human lives and destining them to a life of suffering. Can you find it in your heart to forgive me, even now? Oh, yes, Justin. I do forgive you. Albert?